Hey gang, Diana here today with another Distress Oxide technique for you guys and I this took me forever to find this video. I had recorded it and then it disappeared and anyway um, here's what I got. I haven't gotten them all yet. I just dipped my toe, toe into the water into the ink pad and um, got a few because I love iced spruce and cr cracked pistachio and then I got the primary triad um, red yellow blue or worn lipstick fossilized amber and then the uh, faded jeans the broken china and marmalade are really I'm waiting to get them but I just got the triad and then colors that I loved or Thought would be useful and I thought that cracked, bright cracked pistachio would be useful and now we get into uh, this is the paper I used in my primary trials before I started recording I tried a cardstock and that's probably Nina 110 cardstock which was fine um, you can see that it picked up the color really nicely uh, yes it did indeed buckle and this is Bristol also worked fine you're going to get a different look you won't be able to pile on as much color onto these types of papers I like to use I knew the watercolor would be the best paper and uh, then I went to that and this is 140 140 pound Strathmore watercolor you could use Tim Holtz watercolor paper or that Canson XL any kind of nice 140 weight watercolor paper uh, I find the Strathmore everywhere so I use that a lot and I'll use the smoother side I'm using the uh, primary triad right here so we've got the three red or uh, pink yellow and blue and I think that uh, Broken China would be a nice addition here. That's more of a green blue, and I really I want that one next. I love that color. And you can see how that turned a little brown, and that's because I mixed water into them, which um, lessens the opacity. These are opaque at full strength, but once you mix water in with things, there's going to be um, less opacity. They cover up is what happens um, if you use full strength they will cover the color underneath so I you got us this is called the wrinkle free technique by the way and I'm you probably have seen this this technique is really nice with the regular distress inks and um, you lay the ink down and then you squirt it and then you dip and between each um, major dipping I'm just doing little dips here and there at this point uh, you have to dry you have to dry it uh, and then the color begins to really build up I think this would be pretty cool using a bottom layer of regular distress inks and then the oxides on top uh, this is I'm squirting it with the water and just dropping drops of the water down on that and just like the distress inks the oxides will uh, react with with the water or any kind of you know you could use um, you know uh, sparkly water too with some of the like the per perfect pearls in water that would be really pretty I didn't try that here I don't, that makes me want to try it <laughs> not today but anyway um, you you probably I'll probably be back with more videos on this and see how just how far I can stretch these inks now I've got the um, fossilized amber and the iced spruce oh that fossilized amber uh, really splits up into two colors it's really cool it's like a bright yellow and then that sort of more earthy yellow so you can see the speckly bits that are coming into play as after I squir after I pick up the majority of the water and I'm just gonna uh, dip my 
journal in there while I'm at it because that's a nice background in, on my journal. I always like to work with my journal close at hand so if um, an ink puddle arises I have something to dip into it. So that is just just really trying to pick as much of that up as possible. I think I might suggest getting the reinkers with these. Uh, I don't always get reinkers. I do have them for my distress inks. Some of them I collect them as I go, as you know, my pocketbook allows me. But the it, these I think will tend to be like the distress where there's a lot of techniques you can do and you might want those ring anchors but um, certainly they're very juicy at the moment so you can really see that is picking up those colors really nicely and don't forget I know I said this already but don't forget to dry between uh, picking up the colors uh, dry on each layer and you can get more and more layers going here and it just gets you can see how much they fade when they are dry now that's totally dry and you can see I don't know if you can really see that finish but it is gorgeous it's like a matte chalky finish but of course it will not come off it's not chalk at all now I'm spritzing the water again and just letting it puddle up and you can sort of see that yellow split right in the m middle of that paper. Oops, forgot to turn this right side up. Sorry, gang. But um, I'm picking up the water on this one, and that's pretty mar uh, remarkable. It's the same as with the Distress Inks. Uh, if you don't like those white spots, um, if that's a little much, then just let it sit and dry. You don't have to pick the water up, it just let it mellow a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it and I'm looking forward to making more of these and trying to find new techniques. So you can see more on my blog and I'll link a couple other videos below and in the meantime have a great day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, comment because I love to hear from you guys. Bye now. Have a great day.